All right. So, uh, hello, people. This is Joseph Strickland on Facebook. You all know me. So, um, I wanted to do this for a long time. And once again, once again, this is on this generation and why it's ruined. Keep that in mind. I'm going to be ranting on the same fucking topic. I don't give a shit. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to be ranting on the same relationship until it fucking goes away. So there you have it. And I know many people don't like the word rant now. I think they just say make a video about. So I am going to make a video about swag and this generation and why it's ruined. Now let me start off by reading something off of Yahoo uh, UK or whatever. So here is something from a guy named Brian and I don't even know this guy's last name so who cares. This generation is the worst in many things. I think overall it is the most immature. You have bad music and overrated songs and artists. Then you have relationships in general that are worse than before. In fact, now it's just what one person can get out of something. Really, how can a woman, how can a pretty woman be interested in marrying someone like Lil Wayne? Yet, if any other guy would approach them nicely, they wouldn't even give the guy another look. Now it's shit on the nice people. Go after jerk. Go after the jerks, sluts, bad people, easy people, and complain about them and long wasted and long for a nice person to settle down with. It's all about partying, getting wasted, and not thinking about your future. I can go on and on, but you get the idea. Yes, I have to agree with this fucking post. Sure, I stumbled a little bit and I didn't know where I was. But, um, that's the thing. Ladies, this is one of the things I have to rant on, and I'm sorry, or have to, you know, do my thing on. This generation is immature. Right? Yeah. It is, literally. This is the most immature generation I've ever seen. And, uh, people tell me I'm immature. Yeah, that's not the case. But, um... Yes, there is bad music in this generation. Absolutely terrible. Um, swag is one of these things where it's ruining this generation because let's take a look at relationships, all right? You women are interested in marrying someone like Lil Wayne or Drake or uh, some uh, really popular rapper or some attractive guy. And you look down on the nice the nice guys because you think that they're too nice and that they don't deserve a girlfriend yeah um okay then I don't so I don't deserve a girlfriend huh what the fuck is this generation come to back then all the all the women wanted was love not sex not fucking fucking douchebags and bullshit they wanted love back in the day. And it should be the same way now. You know what? This is all the women do. When a nice guy comes up to the women, they don't, they don't the, the women don't even want to do anything with them. The women don't want anything to do with them. When a fucking douchebag or a jerk comes up and they're attractive as fuck, they don't, they want to go out with them instead of going out with the nice guy because, look, this is the bullshit I hate in this generation. Ladies, you shouldn't be going out with fucking jerks, I swear to fuck. And don't tell me not to tell you what to do, because I'm going to anyway. It's the truth. You ladies decide. You want to go out with jerks. 
bad boys and all that shit. That is bullshit and I fucking hate it. Alright? Listen. Why are you interested in marrying a fucking douchebag or a rapper or something like that? When the nice guy comes up to you and he wants, he really wants to love you and go out with you and he respects you. But as soon as you turn on him, he doesn't respect you anymore. All he does is go home and just, and just thinks about you all the time. Because you can't, because you don't want him. And he thinks about you all the time. And what, and what their future, and what his future would be like with you. And his future would be absolutely fine. If you weren't so fucking immature, maybe you would go out with a fucking guy who actually cares about you. You get me? You feel me? But yeah, that's what I have to say there. I don't know how this... I don't know how this fucking generation... Fit, but this generation's worse than the last. Uh, swag has ruined it. And it's really terrible, so yeah. It's, it's just the worst thing ever. Just gonna say that. It's the worst thing ever. Now, I feel like swag is probably the worst thing in this generation because it's really a simplistic word. But, it's just a word. It's, it's not really the, not really a word of cool. People think swag means style or cool or something like that. It doesn't mean anything. It means nothing. If you want to say you have style, say you have style. If you have, if you want to say you got bling, say you got bling. Just say you got bling. Um, if you want to say that you're hip hop or gangster, say you're hip hop and gangster. Don't say I have swag. That's what is that? Swag? No. This has been around for way too long. And I think it's about time we change this generation back into the old school. Because the old school generation was better. And let's face it. We can still have today's technology. I don't mind that. I don't mind today's technology. That's all good. That's all fine and dandy. But... The old school generation consists of people making 90s to early 2000s hip hop like songs. And I think that would be great for up and coming rappers and hip hoppers because let's look at the let's look at the 90s first thing. The 90s were not all that bad, but they weren't my type of era. Now the 90s were cool because of the way that rap and hip hop got popular, and so it did. Uh, Tupac, Biggie, Easy E, Ice Cube, and all that stuff. Public Enemy, cannot forget those guys. But um, in the in the two thousands, you got Nelly, Fifty Cent, and Ja Rule, and Ashanti, and all this, and all this good hip hop stuff. But then you get to uh, 2006, and then you hear the word swag, and, you look, and you're like, "What is swag? What is this? What is this?" And then you're just like, "Well, I don't even know what he means by that. Does he mean does he does he mean he has lots of money? Does he mean he have cars? Does it mean he has uh, some sort of style?" Well. We all found out in the 2010s that swag meant style. And then you see these guys go around wearing skinny jeans, tight t-shirts, say swag, YOLO, and all this stuff. And I just see how far that this generation has fallen. It has fallen dramatically, badly really really bad I mean just 
it's a lowdown, really, to think about it. Uh, but this generation's really, really bad. I mean, it's the worst generation out of the uh, out of all of the generations that had concluded. Now, I wasn't even born in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. 70s or 80s because I don't know about that but out of the 90s 2000s late 2000 well the 90s late not oh god damn it the early 90s the late 90s the early 2000s um and the mid 2000s the late 2000s and the 2010s the 2010s has to be the worst era right now has to be the worst but starting back in late 2006, it started to go downhill. So, what what I mean by this is, Swag started in 2006, I don't know when, middle or end of it. Um, it really doesn't matter there, because I didn't know what the word meant at the time. And really, I don't know who else was saying it besides Jibs. Now he started the whole fiasco of that, and oh my god, it just got so overused and it got um, overused in mute in hip hop music and it got overused it when uh, when people were saying it a lot. It got overused when people started saying it in the two in the late two thousands and. Then they ruined hip hop because Jibs was the first one to get the hip hop ruined, but the hip hop was actually ruined by Soldier Boy. Now, Soldier Boy was really, really bad. I think he was terrible, terrible rapper. Now, uh, I think Jibs was just as bad, if not worse, because he only had one hit, which was Chang Hang Low. Yeah, that one. I did hear swag in it, and I never knew what it meant. So, yeah, it was really, it was just awful. Really awful. Now, when we get to the 2010s, it has been so overused. And people are even speculating in 2009, 2010, and 2011 that it was just a fad and it was going to go away sooner or later. Look where we are now and look where it is. It's still here and it's still not going away. And it's just pathetic. It's dumb. It's not what I want to see. Alright? Uh, this has to be the worst generation in all of the history that I have lived through. Out of the early 90s to now, this has to be the worst generation. The last generation of the 2000s was actually better. And believe it or not, you never heard the word swag back then. You never heard YOLO back then. You never heard any of that stuff. You heard what people were consistent of. And you were hearing Snoop Dogg in uh, his rap songs back in the day saying nizzle, shizzle, dizzle. Oh, there you go. Hey, Poppy. Uh, that was my grandfather, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, uh, you heard Snoop Dogg saying nizzle, dizzle, sizzle, shizzle, dizzle, whatever. And he was pretty different for hip hop. And even back in the 90s, Snoop Dogg was good. I liked him back in the 90s. I thought he was pretty good. Now, in the early 2000s, I think he got a little bit better. Um, because, well, Snoop Dogg's popular and all that stuff. But nowadays, I don't think that Lil Wayne Drake and Rick Ross and Wiz Khalifa can even carry the hip-hop shit. I think they're just terrible. <laughs> um... Uh, truly, my favorite Wiz Khalifa um, mixtape or whatever was his first one back in 2005. And after his first mixtape, I think it went to crap. So, you know, 
It was terrible. <laughs> it, this was a terrible era, and it still is. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to speculate why this generation is just so bad. And there may be a part two, so hang on to your hang on to your ass and just wait for part two to come out. Cause it just might come out after this video uploads. And this time I'll be talking about the fashion. So don't worry about that. <laughs>